Hello friends, welcome to Dream PG YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about some of the important points in granuloma. Whenever an antigen or a foreign body enters the human body, it will be encountered by the macrophages. This antigen activates the macrophages which in turn leads to release of a cytokine called interferon gamma. This interferon gamma in turn activates these macrophages to form an epithelial like cells. It is called as epithelioid cells. Another important function of cytokine interferon gamma is to activate CD4 plus helper T cells. So basically granuloma has three components. Epithelioid cells which are formed from the macrophages. Collar of lymphocytes which are CD4 plus helper T cells and the multinucleate giant cells. Important cytokine that helps in the granuloma formation is interferon gamma. The most important cell in the granuloma is epithelioid cells which are formed from the macrophages and the T cell which is present in the granuloma is CD4 TH1 cells. Let's have a look into the special types of granuloma. First one is the stellate granuloma. Stellate granuloma is characterized by central neutrophilic infiltrates. It is characteristically seen in lymphogranuloma venerum and cat scratch disease. Another special type of granuloma is Dux granuloma. It is seen in cerebral malaria. Causative organism for cerebral malaria is Plasmodium falciparum. Eosinophilic granuloma is a special type of granuloma which occur due to parasitic infection. It is also seen in Chuck Strauss syndrome. Another important point that you have to remember in this granuloma is naked granuloma. Naked granuloma is a type of granuloma in which the outer lymphocyte layer is absent. That is why it is called as naked granuloma. Naked granuloma is seen in sarcoidosis and Crohn's disease. Thank you very much. Let's try to answer this question. Dux granuloma is seen in option A, lymphogranuloma venerum, option B, cat scratch disease, option C, Chuck Strauss syndrome, option D, cerebral malaria. Yeah, that's it guys. Thank you very much.